Hey, YouTubers, it's Charlie. So it's a really sad day. Carrie Fisher passed away. So we just wanted to remember her and talk a little bit about her role in the Star Wars universe and what might be happening in the future, especially a Princess Leia spinoff movie. So here we go. It's the saddest thing ever that she passed away, but she had such a big impact on the Star Wars franchise in ways that you didn't necessarily see from her being on camera. Like she had a big role in being a script doctor behind the scenes, like she would rewrite a lot of Leia's dialogue that she felt wasn't quite as good as it could be. She eventually became a screenwriter herself. She released a couple books about mental health and her time in Hollywood. So there's a lot out there if you want to learn about Carrie Fisher in real life. Like she talked a lot about her life growing up in the spotlight because her mother, Debbie Reynolds, was a longtime film actress. So for better or worse, she grew up in the Hollywood limelight. But within the context of Star Wars, for those of you asking, yes, they did wrap production on Star Wars Episode Eight. So whatever her role was going to be in that movie, whatever Princess Leia's story was, that's going to be unaffected. They've already shot her scenes. They did say that she was going to be a much bigger part of the story than she was in episode seven. So whatever she's doing with the resistance, it's going to be a much bigger deal now, now that they've been cut off from the Galactic Republic. Remember, the First Order blew up what remained of the new Galactic Republic. So essentially, the resistance is a much smaller force than the rebellion, like even smaller than the rebellion was. And whatever the action and plot of her storyline, it'll probably have something to do with Poe and Finn's characters. They've also expanded Poe's character because Poe Dameron, was a relatively minor character in the episode 7 script, but then Oscar Isaac was just so fantastic on set that J.J. Abrams was convinced to put more scenes in for him. He was originally going to kill Poe off earlier in the film, but then was like, oh my god, Oscar Isaac's fantastic. I love what he's doing, so we're going to keep him on. So in the way that the original trilogy characters like Luke and Leia were important parts of episode 7, but relatively minor just because they spent most of the film setting up the new characters, now that they've done that, they can be a much bigger part of the story without overshadowing the new characters. So a lot more Princess Leia in Episode Eight, leading the Resistance against the First Order. But just to bring it back around to Star Wars Rogue One. So now that we're doing other stories inside the Star Wars universe that feature original trilogy things without necessarily retelling the same stories that we've already seen, the time is right for them to start planning for a young Princess Leia movie. One of the minor complaints from Rogue One was that, you know, Princess Leia, we know her impact in the Star Wars universe, how important she was in the Galactic Senate, the fight against the Emperor, but that doesn't really come across during Rogue One. You don't really see that. Like, they just relay past baton style the Death Star plans to her as she jets away in the Krellian Corvette to the opening moments of Star Wars Episode Four. But she was a huge figure for the Rebellion leading up to that. She was the youngest person in the history of the galaxy to ever become a member of the Galactic Senate. So there's just so much about her life that they have not told on screen that it's just ripe for spin-off movie territory. Like younger teenage Leia leading up to the moments when she joined the Galactic Senate. So she joined when she was around 16 years old. So some of the expanded universe novels, which technically aren't canon anymore, have already dealt with some of her childhood in just like really small offhanded ways, like some of the smaller novels like the Scholastic books. But like if you've been reading the Star Wars comic books since they started publishing at Marvel again, that mostly picks up at the end of episode four. So they've been telling a lot of extra new Leia stories that sort of fill in the gaps between the movies, but that's mostly Leia of the future. It involves people like Harrison Ford that don't necessarily want to come back to do more movies. Like we have the young Han Solo movie. It would make sense that instead of doing Leia between the original trilogy movies, you do a coming of age story that would focus more on her and her adventures before she joined the Galactic Senate. So she's force sensitive just like Luke was, but she didn't display it quite as openly as he did. So if you remember the way they treated the force during Rogue One, Donnie Yen's character believes in the force. He has a kyber crystal inside his staff. He invokes it in a way that does not involve lightsabers or Jedi. He just believes in the force and keeps chanting, I am one with the force. The force is with me. So you could tell a Princess Leia story that involves the force in that way without her ever having to build a lightsaber. And if you watch Stranger Things, Millie Bobby Brown is a dead ringer for a young Carrie Fisher. She could totally pull it off. She kind of has that quiet grace about her that you would imagine a young Princess Leia would have. Now, she has a lot of sass in her, too. Like, you watch Empire Strikes Back. It probably had some of my favorite 
funny, sassy Princess Leia scenes in that movie where she just does not give a shit about anything. She's not taking anybody's crap. Uh-huh. Come on. You're imagining things. Am I? Then why are you following me? Fredo's gonna leave without giving you a goodbye kiss? I just assumed he's a Wookiee. I can arrange that. <laughs> it would help if I got out and pushed. Captain Turner. Captain Turner. Mike! If I was still out there, I don't think it's no mine! No time to discuss this to committee! Ooh. So were they to do a young Princess Leia movie, when would you want it to be set and what kind of stories would you want them to tell? Because they could treat the original trilogy elements the same way they did in Rogue One. Darth Vader could be a part of the story in a small way. She didn't interact with Vader a lot as a child. Like Bail Organa was totally in on this conspiracy when Obi-Wan and Yoda cooked it up. We're going to separate the children, we'll keep them as far away from the Emperor and Vader as possible growing up. Hidden. Safe. The children must be kept. We must take them somewhere where the Sith will not sense their presence. Mm. Split up, they should be. My wife and I will take the girl. We've always talked of adopting a baby girl. She will be loved with us. So while she did cross paths with Vader as she got older, it was just in the same way that the Rogue One characters bumped into Darth Vader. Like just very briefly, very offhandedly. So Darth Vader's off trying to finish the purge, trying to bring the galaxy to heal while Leia is growing up on Alderaan, just trying to live a normal childhood with her parents. But like right now, Millie Bobby Brown is about 12 years old in real life. If they were to do a Princess Leia movie after episode 9 and say like, three or four years, she would be the perfect age for an adolescent Leia before we see her at the end of Rogue One, just like leading up to that moment when she gets the Death Star plans. So I will say, you know, what I hope they do is, you know, because Princess Leia will always be a big figure in Star Wars going forward, regardless of how they choose to use her, I just, I hope they don't use a CG Leia. I just feel like it would be a betrayal of her memory if they just started stuffing in CG Leia all the time. Like, hopefully, this Rogue One CG Leia was a very one-off type of thing. Like, we could flash back to her as a child, but I'd rather see them do it in a more real way. Like, you know, you cast someone like Millie Bobby Brown, and that's how you do young Leia scenes. But just because this new trilogy they're working on, Episode 8, Episode 9, is a Skywalker trilogy, I would totally be okay if they had, like, a brief CG Leia moment at the very end of that. Not that that's what they're going to do. I'm just saying that if they want to use a little bit of Leia to bookend Kylo Ren's story at the end of Episode 9, I would be okay with it then. But let me know in the comments, how would you want them to continue to use Carrie Fisher's Princess Leia in Star Wars going forward? Now, I feel like we're all on the same page. We don't want the Grand Moff Tarkin treatment. Like, it'd just almost be a perversion of her memory. And when I say forward, I mean forward in the timeline. Now, obviously, if they choose to do young Princess Leia, they'll definitely have to recast someone else. But what if they want to use adult Princess Leia? Would you rather see the CG version that we saw during Rogue One, or would you just rather have them recast the role? Like, if we see Princess Leia in another 10 years. Although, I don't think that's going to happen. I think what they're going to do after episode 9, is that they'll find other characters to follow. Like, if they're going to do a new saga, then they'll find other characters besides the Skywalkers. So if you're freaking out about them just stuffing CG Leia into everything, don't worry about that. Like, they're not going to pervert her memory. Kathleen Kennedy would probably be the first person to put the kibosh on something like that. So what I think we'll see in the future is that they'll just remember her. You might see them cut in images from previous movies, and hopefully we'll get a chance to see some young Princess Leia in a spin-off movie. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. Like they have this Han Solo movie, there might be some young Princess Leia in that, but she didn't really run into Han Solo during his younger years that much. So we'll see how it goes down, but I just cannot wait for 2017 to get here. I'm so ready for the dumpster fire that is 2016 to just end. So may you rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. We will remember you forever. But what's going to happen next is, is because Sherlock season four is getting ready to start, I did an explainer video that just explains what's happened so far just to get you guys ready because I'm going to be doing episode videos for Sherlock. So that will post in the morning. Then I'll post some more Marvel, some Flash season three. So there'll be a bunch more comic book stuff coming in addition to Sherlock. While you guys wait for that to post, you can click here for my Darth Vader Rogue One video and you can click here for all my Easter eggs. Thank you so much for watching. May the Force be with you. See you guys tonight.